Well, good evening, wherever you are on this uh, most pleasant evening. There has been a clamour to get inside the ground tonight for a much-anticipated game. The uh, roads outside of the stadium have been bumper to bumper with traffic. The car parks are full. There is a torrent of humankind making its way from the nearby station. And we expect every seat to be filled. An atmosphere of uh, great expectation and excitement. One glance and you know where we are. It is one of the most recognisable arenas for the beautiful game in the world. And boy, does it add to the occasion. Well, this is the perfect game for all parties, not least the neutrals who've just come to enjoy it. Well, on the face of it, Peter, we would appear to have a high-caliber meeting with very little at stake. But then you consider a, a chance for one or two of the fringe players to get a look in, and this becomes a big incentive. It changes the dynamic. So there's plenty at stake for them, which will do no harm to the energy levels and the overall conviction and hopefully the style of contest. So it's away we go then. Who do you, Jim, see making the difference here? Yeah, Hugo Lloris. His lightning fast reactions and all round shot stopping ability make him a formidable obstacle for opposition strikers and you'd always back him Peter in a one-on-one -on -one. he doesn't just stick to his penalty area though he dominates the entire defensive third sweeping up behind his defense and and getting them shifting forward once more he would be the obvious choice wouldn't he he certainly has all the right Deli Alli! and he's straight offside Romero. Tottenham Hotspur have pushed both fullbacks into quite advanced positions here. Yeah, that's that's interesting. So what are they attempting to do? Well, it's it's a bold attempt, in my opinion, to occupy the opposition in a way they're not expecting. Raspilicueta. Harvats. And it's James. Both sides have actually looked poor going forward. We've hardly seen anything meaningful yet. Ricky Long. Endembele. Hoists it forward. Oh, he's managed to get himself offside. Thiago Silva. There were better options before the ball was lost. Easy to save from up here, I know. And it's played forward. Son Hyung Min. Pulisic. And it's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. Sanchez, Emerson, Thiago Silva cuts it out. Oh, shooting chance! Goal, Chelsea! Oh, whose goal is that? Big deflection. That's one for the dubious goals panel.
Chelsea take the lead, 1-0. Yeah, this is also a chance to see what happens to their level of concentration from here. Thiago Silva tries lifting it over. Jorginho. Oh, that is lovely footwork. Thiago Silva. Well, the ball's come loose and the chase is on. Defenders on the back foot. He's played him through. He's still going. Where to next? Time to deliver. And he's going long. He's got options out wide. Referee's had a look, and he's blown his whistle for half-time. So there you have it, a close fought half of football, but one that still had its moments, but ultimately produced just one goal. A more than decent game up to now. Well, that certainly pleased the fans, and the players are definitely happy with that scoreline. The question is now, can they protect it? Chelsea go in at half-time with a slender one-goal lead. Already up and running for the second half. Chelsea carrying a one-goal lead. Jorginho battles to win it back. Now can he finish? And the whistle's gone, presumably for offside. And it's Kane. Kane plays it out to the wing. Mondi gets it upfield. Questions were asked, but he's given the answers. We can get that clear. Son Hyung Min. And here's Kane. Son Hyung Min. Now, and the finish! Yeah, the pass was bang on, and he just had to ensure he didn't stray offside. The finish was actually bang on, too. Tottenham grab the equaliser and we're all square. Yeah, it's a very good contest with two very good sides and with such great individual talent on show, it could go either way. Regardless of the outcome, it is good to see someone running at the defence like that. Soul! Big relief, it just needed better contact. Yeah, on another occasion, all that went wrong, make them right. Thiago Silva. James. Conte. Pulisic. James. Kane. Now it's Son Hyung Min. Whistle's gone, that's a foul.
Emerson. Who's ball? Who's going to get there? Lukaku, good energy in defence as well. Well, they say that your front lads should be that first line of, um, of stopping the opposition, and I think he's taken it to another level with his desire to get back and, and help. He's had a go! Goal! Chelsea! And they've got their lead back. I can give the keeper a little sympathy here because I think he might have been slightly unsighted. However, credit where it's due, it's still a fine finish from a tight spot. Chelsea take the lead. Sanchez. And it's been taken straight back. Hudson Adoy. Pulisic. Hudson Odoi gets into some space. Chelsea are looking to make this one safe. They want to reduce the risk. Sanchez gets it forward. Conte tries to get it forward quickly. Chelsea certainly don't need to overcommit now. Their priority lies further back. And the referee brings it to a close. Chelsea winners by the odd goal. It really could have gone either way, but a win is a win. How would you summarise what we've seen today then, Jim? Chelsea.